the people have spoken. Alright, so first off I have my footage here. This is just a character from Mixmo, I just gave it like a superhero landing animation. I think it'll work pretty well for this. Let us add a shape 3D and set this shape to a sphere. So now I have this sphere right here, but we want it to be more of a dome. So we can do that by playing around with the latitude. So I'm just going to set the end to zero. So now we have a perfect half of a sphere. Alright, so now let's add an energy texture to it. So I'm going to drag down a fast noise and plug that into it. Open the dual viewer and set the fast noise to that. So you may notice if I move around, I have this weird banding effect. I can fix that by going to transparency and changing it to quicksort. Now that's gone. So in the fast noise, I'm going to bring up the detail and the scale all the way. In the color, I'm going to change the type to gradient. Now on this black point, I'm just going to bring the alpha down all the way so that it's clear. Then I'm going to bring the white to the middle and drag the black point almost to the exact same point. Now I'm just going to click anywhere in this black area. That makes a new point. So I can drag this out and put it on the other side of the white. So now I have the kind of this energy outline look. So I'm going to click on my white point and change it to a nice purple color. You can really play around with it. I think I'm gonna change the type to discontinuous. That looks pretty good for me. Now I'm gonna bring my footage to the viewer and just find the frame where he hits the ground. It's frame seven. So I'm gonna bring down the radius on the sphere to zero, set a keyframe, go about uh, maybe 20 frames later and set it to two. So now it starts at nothing and then grows out. Now we can actually go to the spline tab. Under these three dots, make sure show only selected tool is checked. I'm gonna check the shape 3D and bring this up a bit. And then press this, so that'll make it fill the screen. So I'm just gonna select both of these and hit S. Then I'm just gonna play with this one so that it has kind of an exploding look. So it starts out really fast and slows down. I think that looks pretty good. So I want the energy to be kind of slowly dying out as it goes along. So in the fast one, you see if I bring up the brightness, it slowly kind of burns out. So I'm gonna go to the last frame, set a keyframe on the brightness at one, then go back to the first frame and bring it down the other way. That looks much better. It is kind of fading in though, and I don't really want that. So I'm just gonna bring up the contrast a little bit so that there's always a little bit. One thing we can do is bring up the C thread a little bit. We can also put a keyframe on the center, go to the last frame, and just bring up the Y a little bit. So that way the energy's kind of moving up. So now let's add a render 3D. Change the type to OpenGL, and then make sure we set the transparency to quicksort again. Then I'm just gonna merge this over my footage. So normally I would add a camera before the render 3D, but with this shot, I think we can get away with just moving the shape. So I'm just gonna bring down bring down the Y. If you're having trouble seeing it to position it, you can disconnect the fast noise. I'll just move my sphere to a place where it looks good. And if it's not lining up with the floor plane, you can play around with the X rotation. So in the merge, I'm gonna change the apply mode to screen, make it look a little bit brighter. So if we look at our render, I can right click, change the options, uncheck checker underlay, just so we can see it a little bit better. So right now, if we look at the edges, it's a perfectly round thing. So one thing we can do to roughen it up is add a displace and then bring a fast noise into that. Now if we bring the fast noise to the viewer, we're gonna bring up the scale to uh, maybe 30 and bring up the detail all the way. Then the displace, I'm gonna bring the center down to where our thing starts from and just play around with the refraction strength. You can see what that's doing. It's just kind of roughing it up, make it look a little bit more organic. So one thing we can do to make it look less artificial is add a directional blur and set the type to radial then bring it down to our center again and just bring down the length just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of a motion blur. All right, next, I'm gonna add a glow to this. I'm gonna use the X Glow Fuse, which is a free fuse from Reactor, but the soft glow should work just fine. All right, the default settings look good for me. Then finally, to tweak some things, I'm gonna add the intensity node. You could use a color corrector, but I like the control intensity gives. This is another plugin from Reactor. So I'm just gonna bring up the gamma, bring down the saturation a little bit, and maybe bring up the gain a bit. Finally, after my footage, I'm gonna add a displace and then plug our shockwave into that. So if we look at that, we can see it's kind of making these ripple effect, making it react to it more. Now, this is a really cool effect, and I actually use similar techniques in my wormhole tutorial, which you can check out right here. 